Hey folks, just wanted to take a minute to show you something I thought was pretty neat. Um, we've had so much rain this year, everybody don't know what to do with their cells, with their crops and all, but I wanted to show you what happens when you rent 700 acres of land and the guy says, by the way, there's a catch. You've got 78 acres that needs to stay in grass. Doesn't want any runoff in his pond. Anyway, obviously you tell him, yeah, that's okay. Here's, here's what happens when that happens and you don't know much about the land and you fertilize it heavy and you take your first cutting off and then and here comes the Johnson grass. The sun's kind of bright. I don't know whether you can see it or not. That, that, that tractor there I just got out of, that's a, that's a TW30 forward. Um, and the Johnson grass is almost as high as it is. Um, I don't know whether I can get myself in the shot or not here. Let's see. Yeah. How about that? Look, I'm six foot two. This stuff is rank, man. Hey, crazy. We've been blessed. We got a lot of rain. Everything looking good. This place is eat up with Johnson grass and supposed to be grass hay and yeah there's grass under there you, you, you can see the grass under there but uh, it, it, it's crazy it's absolutely crazy I stopped here um, you can see what this thing is doing it's having to ride this stuff down to go into the hay bind here disc bind, excuse me folks. Anyway, just thought I'd take a second to show you what we're dealing with. 78 acres of this stuff. Uh, obviously some of it's not as rank as what I'm showing you right here, but I'm anxious to see how many bagels we'll get. Um, got to cut it, got to bale it. I don't care nothing about fooling with Johnson grass, but here we are. So we'll bail it up, it'll all feed well. Talk with you next time.